also hit by what is missing from this piece of legislation. And, you know, I don't know if uh, any of you have been reading some of the newspaper articles that exist out there and um, some of the emails you get. Look at this. There is nothing in here to limit and regulate user fees charged by banks. I had a senior citizen come into my um, office recently, in my constituency office. I have many of them coming in, by the way, these days, uh, because they're getting very, very disturbed. And this is the way they told me, the way things go. They said, you know what? I put my money in my bank, and when they wanted to automate and introduce the ATM machine, I started to use that, thinking that would save me money and would save the bank's money. Remember, the bank profits have gone up, and they're very, very high right now. And yet there is always the threat to new user fees and increasing your user fees. And this senior citizen is so puzzled that because she believes she has saved so much to, for the banks in the way of having to um, have personnel in place, which I think is a huge mistake, but because there is so much has been automated, and yet she's saying her fees keep going up. And this was an opportunity, this legislation, for this government to start taking a look at regulating user fees that banks are gouging uh, their uh, people at. And, you know, some banks are even beginning to introduce now legislation, or not legislation, sorry, fees, that you have to pay to get your own money out of your own bank account. At one time, it was only if you went to a different ATM. And now, one of the banks has put this idea out that there could be a user fees even if you go to your own bank's ATM machine. That just makes no sense. And citizens in Canada look to us, look to us to regulate things like that. The other 